awesome. I love this big bird hair. was moving but ah, the images that I got is amazing I got it caught a fish ago I was out with my family and we saw in a little pond there with some ice in the middle but it's open water in the edges and we saw a gray heron and we came really close because there especially in the weekends there is a lot of people walking around this area here so I'm guessing they are used to people so today I thought I'm going to bring my camera and see if I can get some photos of the grey heron. to try a little bit further on the other side of this tree here and see if we can get a little bit closer it didn't seem to bother it started to like prune its feather so that's a really good sign there's a little bit of ice there so maybe I can get out on the ice but it's unsafe so I won't go too far on the ice there but Let's try. so nice oh they're so beautiful it's really good to be outside today it's 
something different from from double with minus 26 30 degrees now it's plus I'm guessing 8 degrees and it feels warm so it's so nice to be out nice and calm and beautiful overcast so there won't be too much of the hard shadows and that is really really nice I love that kind of light with we go this uh, soft light so I'm using a teleconverter with a 500 and a D500 and some of them are around a thousand and fifty millimeter so I won't try to go too close so I can't get a good distance from the bird and have it to to act naturally and my ISO is 640 so it's overcast like I said so I don't need to too much light and I'm getting a 500 of a second with f5.6 it's full opening with the teleconverter So I'm using the grass in the foreground to get some foreground and what happens then is the blue heron is really popping out of the picture and uh, I really like that. did find a frog there in that area so I'm hoping it will come a frog there and get it to eat the frog and get a picture of that it would be awesome but I don't have any high hopes and I need to be here for a long time. When something happens like that, I'm just <laughs> have to throw myself down, even though it's really wet hair because it's in the marsh in this uh, on the edge of the water, so I'm soaked. But I don't feel cold right now, but uh, I have to be careful not to get too cold. of a grey heron. <sighs> so a great tip if you are like like me using a foreground use single uh, like a spot focusing uh, because if you are using a group focus uh, it can try to focus on the foreground instead of the bird and you can miss a lot of shots so use a single point focus so it's spotting right at the bird and then it won't bother about the foreground getting in focus but it's so nice when you are using the foreground because you isolate the bird so much more and you get that intimate shot 
and also if you're getting really low the background will be so much further away and out of focus as well and then the bird will pop out and you get intimate shot and you get more the, the eye level at the bird and that is what makes the impact of the picture. Oh, I cannot believe my luck. Suddenly I had to like throw myself down because I saw the gray heron was moving and was getting ready for something that it that saw that was in like a hunt uh, mood. So suddenly it started to move and I just threw myself down with the camera. I didn't have the chance to react, to film anything, but I think I got some great images. I have looked at it on the screen and some of them are sharp, but I don't know before I go get it on the computer. But ah, the images that I got is amazing. I got it calling a fish.